Howdy, it's Uncle Paul, and I have tested my Plasti Dip handles and some dehydrated spaghetti. Well, it's Monday morning. It is 27 degrees, and there's a stiff wind, cold wind blowing. I had to break ice out of Hurley's water bowl this morning. Yesterday was a good day. Uh, being able to preach and teach out there at Young Sport. And I'm going to share with you a little clip, just a couple minutes or so long. And I'm sharing it with you because I talk about my nephews in this clip. And many of you are familiar with them, so I thought you might find it interesting. James tells us God gives, and He gives liberally, meaning bountifully. God gives us an abundance, not just what we need, but even more than what we need. And James says he does it without reproach. He does it without getting upset with us for asking for it, for asking over and over again. God is not going to get tired of us asking. Now, <clears throat> I don't have children of my own. I'm not a parent. But I do have nieces and nephews. And there's been a number of times over the years that I've taken my nephews on on trips. Uh, one of the very, well, I guess the very first one uh, was a multi-state trip. It was a multi-day, like 10 or 12 days. And I think they were like ages uh, 8, 10, and 12, if, if I remember. And so, uh, you know, I didn't know. I mean, I did, I did, but I just really didn't. I mean, I, I was a kid myself. So I knew, but yet I didn't because I hadn't experienced it. No one really prepared me. Uncle Paul, are we there yet? <laughs> no, no, we're not there. Um, I'll, I'll let you know when we get there. Uncle Paul, Uncle Paul, are we there yet? No, no, we're not there. We will get there. You will see that we are there. And I will tell you that we are there. You'll know when we get there. Uncle Paul. Uncle Paul. What do you think would win in a fight? Between a grizzly bear and an alligator. Uncle Paul. Are we there yet? Uncle Paul. Well, this is my favorite one. Uncle Paul. How would you rather die? Would you rather be crushed by an 18-wheeler or eaten by a shark? Uncle Paul, are we there yet? No, but you know, I'm not God. We're not God. God, thankfully, is a patient God. He's patient with us. He wants us to ask. James is letting us know. He wants us to be persistent in our prayer. God isn't tired of hearing our prayers. We must, therefore, not tire of praying. Okay, uh, guys, I'm, I haven't done this in a while, uh, dehydrated anything, but today I am going to dehydrate uh, some spaghetti. Spaghetti with some uh, ground turkey and uh, a, a good bit of sauce. Uh, I put a good bit of sauce in here. And so I've got two different trays, and that's one cup. Actually, I packed the cup down real good, so it's a little bit more than a cup on each tray. And I'm going to set it for the meat setting at 160 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And, you know, I don't know, I, I assume it's going to run probably maybe uh, six hours or so. I don't, I don't know for sure. We'll find out. But I think it's going to take quite a few hours. So there it goes. And then we'll check on it in a little bit. Well, how much did you pay for this rig? 120. 120 used. And it's for fishing. Okay, now you're going to be here for a little while, aren't you? You're going to be here for a little while? Because yeah. I'm going to uh, test out my new mug where I have the plasty handle things, you know, that I dipped in there. Anyway, 
and I also am going to use it to rehydrate some spaghetti. So will you taste test it for me? I'll taste it. Okay, good. All right. Come here. <laughs> you know how you know how energetic he is. He can't hardly sit still. So. <laughs> Okay, well it's start it's trying to catch fire right there. I'm gonna turn it back down again. Alright, it's boiling, so let's check this out. Okay, turn it off. Woo! Well, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty hot. I really can't grab it. Let me get out my handkerchief. Okay, I had to get out the handkerchief and I got it in my, my cozy. And I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes. Alright, guinea pigs, come in here and try this. Yeah, so here. Uncle Paul, you should have should have done it when we were sitting at the table. It was like skinny. Like you're on the iron steps or something. <laughs> And we had to have somebody bring it out to us. Look. I'm going to use a different fork. Well, there, i got another fork out there. Just be honest. What's your assessment of it? It's not bad. Is it rehydrated totally or is it a little crunchy? Yeah. At first glance. It's rehydrated. Okay. It's a little watery. Yeah. A little watery. Yeah. Maybe it's lost its like color a little bit. Lost its color. Uh, we're going to give it a try. Try the texture. <laughs> well, that one's good. Is it hot? Yeah, it's a little hot. Yeah, it's boiling water. Not bad. Not bad. That's okay. Oh, I haven't tasted it yet. Now, let me ask you this. Not a lot of flavor. Oh, now, if you were camping overnight, and that was your meal, what would you think if you were out in a camping situation? I'd be satisfied. It'd be pretty good. It'd be pretty good. Well, how would it compare to opening up a can of Beanie Weenies? Zero. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, as you saw, the uh, Plasti Dip handles didn't work uh, that well. Kind of a fail. But I just need to put more coats on here. Uh, I had three, I believe, and I I need at least ten. I bet. And I'll put several more. Uh, coats on them and that should work. So I'll work on that. Then my spaghetti. My spaghetti was a little bit of a fail. I mean, uh, it's not as good as, as I would have liked. But, uh, you know, I know there's, I've been just experimenting, doing things on my own, and I've looked at some websites, but uh, I know there's recipes out there online, and I'm going to go to those and start trying to follow those recipes. But also, uh, some of you have mentioned some books, one in particular that several have mentioned, and you know I'm probably just going to have to break down and buy it. I just I don't like to spend money if I don't have to, but I'm I'm probably going to have to. <laughs> okay, I'm very excited about this. Now y'all know that I put up uh, recipes every now and then. I make them and, and uh, share some recipes. Uh, sometimes, usually, there's someone else's recipe I got offline, and uh, and I do some things that kind of make it my own but this first one the one I did two weeks ago on the the meatballs that was all my recipe I experimented and all the stuff in there was stuff I wanted to put in and the amounts uh, of, of, of all the ingredients and everything so I got a response from someone who made it and liked it and that's Shadow Walker. Shadow Walker has been uh, a subscriber for a long time and very very supportive of my channel I very, I very much appreciate that many of you have uh, for sure but Shadow Walker responded and says this these were really good capitalized really and uh, exclamation point four of them and goes on I had a great <sighs> great I had a guest over and had these with some roasted Brussels sprouts sounds wonderful I had to promise to share the recipe before she would let me finish eating they were a hit so thanks so thank you Shadow Walker appreciate that 
Okay, this next recipe was from like three weeks ago or so, and it was, uh, I had made some low carb uh, bread in the microwave and made a grilled cheese sandwich out of it. And the man himself, Early Riser 71, he commented on, on the, uh, that he liked the video and he was going to try it, I think, that very day. And sure enough, he got back with me and he made this comment, which here it is, by the way, in case you don't believe me. Okay, so he made this comment, <clears throat> uh, made the 90-second bread and grilled cheese with it, loved it. I steal fresh grounds cheese method. He puts shredded cheese right on the pan, cooks it to a deep brown on both sides, then puts it on the bread. OMG, it's fabulous. Thanks for the recipe. Well, thank you, Early Riser, for the comment and the tip that you stole from Fresh Ground. Okay, and then finally, from a recipe I, I put on my channel several months ago, my wonderful trail angel from up in Pennsylvania last year and my friend Craig. Uh, this was a low carb casserole and it had leeks in it. It was the first time he'd ever eaten leeks, I think he said. But he made it for he and his wife and they really liked it. So I'm always, oh, and he made it in a, in a uh, uh, iron skillet just the way I did and he took this picture of it. And so I was very excited uh, to hear from him when he sent that to me. So thank you, Craig. Good Sunday morning. Well, let's go get on the scale. Well, the big weight is on 200. The little one is on 11. I had to push it up half a pound last week. But this week, I was able to push it the left way, the correct way, down to the nine. I might have gotten away with pushing it a little past that, but it looks like it's on the nine, which is a two pound weight loss on the week. I'll take that. Okay, two pounds. I'm happy with that. I need to be more consistent and try to get at least two pounds every week. You know, guys, I had this dream last night, and it, it's one of those that makes you think, and it's, it's really, you know, feel profound you know when you when you wake up and you think wow but let me just say this you know uh if you've lived very long on this earth at all everybody goes through some kind of struggle some kind of trial some kind of suffering you know and and one of the things that helps me get through a bad time is knowing that when i get past it cuz it's bound to change it's bound to get better once i get past that I'm going to be in a better position to help other people going through the very same thing. So, so that's one, just one of many things you can think about when you're going through a tough period of time. Just think about how you're going to be able to help people and give them advice and be there for them and know what they're going through uh, w You know when they're going through something very similar. So, guys, anyway, it's been a great week. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.